Well, hello, welcome back. Today, I'm going to talk to you about meditation. Relax, put the razor down, you don't have to shave your head. And the clothes you are wearing right now, you know what, they're just fine. It's not that type of meditation. But hey, you can shave your head, wear what you want, it's okay with me. But really, you don't have to. What I'm going to do is talk to you about some things that have been scientifically proven to help lower anxiety. And we're going to kick off with something called mindfulness. If you've heard of mindfulness before, you've probably come across the phrase that mindfulness is paying attention to what is going on right now with no judgment. That's it. And you'd be forgiven for thinking, well, Elaine, that's brilliant, but how is it going to help me with anxiety? Well, let me tell you, it can change the structure of your brain. If you've been doing my course for a while, you'll already know that so much of the anxiety that you experience are automatic responses. Mindfulness gives you the opportunity to stand back and create new responses. It actually changes how your brain works for you. And it's all down to a wonderful thing called neuroplasticity. In the not too distant past, we thought whatever way your brain was wired, that really that was it, you were stuck with it. But now we know, well, actually, you can change it. Hopefully you're well enough into the course by now to see that most of the things that goes on for us on a daily basis, they occur outside of conscious awareness. Let's say this is you and you're really fantastic at basketball. You probably weren't so fantastic the first time you tried, but with practice, you started to form a little pathway in your brain that connected the ball with hand and eye coordination. And voila, now you're a great basketball player and you don't even have to think about it. It's automatic. But you will also know from doing the course that you also have little pathways in your brain just for anxiety that connect you and all those wonderful symptoms of anxiety to meeting your friends, giving presentations, going outside, going shopping, whatever it is that makes you anxious and nervous. Take my word for it, you'll have a little groove in your brain that's controlling it all outside of your conscious awareness. And this is the beauty of neuroplasticity. Those grooves, your brain, it's not set in stone. With different 